Derek Walton, Zach Irvin. I mean, we know they're good players. We knew that coming in. Can DJ Wilson be your best player? Uh, I, it's going to take time right now. He is, uh, he's showing signs of really developing uh, in other areas of his game. Uh, he's always had the basketball body, uh, length, uh, length. He didn't have the body. Now he's got the body. Now he's learning how to control that body. Because, fr frankly, he he's, gets himself in awkward situations sometimes, like a young, thorough, a young colt or a, a, young, a, a young deer that he's all over the place. But as he grows and matures and understands the game better, how to use this, uh, he's got a chance to be a good player. Your team has a chance to do something big this week. I mean, two, two good games that I think you know, being mm -hmm. through this so many times, will help not just this week for your team's development, but could really help come March. Yeah, right. How yeah. big is this week for your well, team? Well, especially given the Virginia Tech loss last week, yeah. which was just 39 minutes of, of leading the game and just letting down the last four minutes. And, and hopefully that hits us right between the eyes and we realize what a 40-minute game is all about in both halves. Yeah. So now this is a great opportunity for us. We have a young, tex young but very talented Texas team that will win a lot of games this year. And then we have a UCLA game, which is like uh, going to play the Lakers right now with the way they are. Uh, they're, really, uh, they're really a good team and travel across the country. But this is what we should be doing, playing teams of this magnitude. Uh, I love the, the matchups because Tuesday night we get a Texas team here for our home crowd. Next year we'll get UCLA here on a Saturday right, for our yeah. students before exams, trying to just put this schedule together that's attractive and still win at the same time. What have the last few months done for you? The way you guys performed in the NCAA tournament and just how close everything yeah. is and how close that elimination was. Mm -hmm. And then to come back with the group you have here. As you as a coach, I mean, has this been sort of an interesting refresh button for you this season? Yeah, I, I think that we all are reminded of things you forget very easily. Uh, you know, what it takes to win and how easily it can slip away. So I think when we went, I have never seen, I have not seen with this team, uh, the focus, the chemistry, the everything that we needed to win in New York. I mean, that was two, we, were play, we played two pretty good teams, teams that will be on the bubble or NCAA teams this year, I think, in SMU and Marquette. And, you know, they were, they were not over at halftime, but it was 20 points at halftime, uh, average. Right. And so uh, we really played well. And then in the second half, it, it, things didn't change. So uh, th th there's, there's some, when you're playing, I think we're playing six uh, really good non-conference games. If you can come out of there four and two, uh, you know, five and one in those type of games, uh, four and two is the best we could do right now. It's, it's a huge for you in March, but it also gets re you ready for the Big Ten. You have a certain pep in your step. I can see it. I can feel it. I mean, is this, is this an exciting time for you, knowing what, what yeah, you guys well, have? Well, no, I, I think it's exciting to find out who we are. That's what's exciting, is that I can see us. Uh, I, I feel the team a little bit more. A, a month ago, I could not feel who we were yet. And now I can see developing. It's been tremendous for us to, to just, I'm back again, Brad, embracing the process, right? Every day, every, every, every game is not the end of the world or the rainbows. It's like the part of the process, and we just got to keep going. All right, that process, uh, guys that have come through here, and the trophies represent right. them uh, that are in the NBA right now. It took them a little bit of time, but guys that have just worked here and now are in the league, they're really starting to make names for themselves. Right. What have you made of, of seeing Glenn Robinson and Tim Hardaway and these guys really start to separate themselves as real pros? Well, the guys that are starting to really get some time, that's when you really see it, uh, and, and big time right now, is, is Glenn Robinson has had some starts for Indiana. Tim Hardaway is playing 20, he was playing five to 10 minutes, now he's getting 20. Yeah. Nick Stauskas was playing five to 10 minutes, now he's getting 15 to 25. And I follow him as close as I can. I'm not on every box score now, Brad. I got my own team here. But they are, and, and, and I think Trey is still feeling his way uh, with, with Washington. So uh, no, I'm, I'm proud of him. And that's, you know, that's the way the NBA has become. There's not too many guys that come into the NBA that are they're NBA ready and walk in there uh, and you know you're you're trying to go and step in front of a guy who's been there 10 years they don't graduate every four years in the oh, nba true. right yeah so you just there's not a spot open so whoever came in behind kobe bryant had a heck <laughs> never got a shot he yeah. never graduated uh you probably two pi people probably retired behind him so it's tough to get in there but now these guys are getting a chance 
and uh, I love it. Was there a point of view that got, that got nervous for a little bit that they wouldn't get their shot, those guys? Uh, yeah, I think they, they're getting, they, you know, I say you get a shot every day. Every day of practice, every day in game, you know, you earn your time in games yeah. and in practices. And I got a lot of faith. Those NBA coaches are tremendous. And uh, they're going to get those guys in the game when they can get them in the game. And then you got to make it, and then you got to get it done. You know, and so I, I'm just excited because they are all are really, uh, are really good, good young men. And uh, now they're, they have a shot and they're taking advantage of it. Thanks for your time. Looking forward right, to doing thanks, this this season. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you.